Okay, here we go. What can I ruin with the iron boots now? Let's go. Let's go. See, I did not die at all during the boss, so I broke my dying twice during the boss's streak. Well, that was trippy, wasn't it? I love doing that, man. Ah! Rudo has boobs! Oh god. Very pointy boobs. But a little bit more rounded than the great fairies, so... Spoople! I would have expected no less from the man I chose to be my husband. Sora's domain and its people will eventually return to their original state. As a reward, I grant my eternal love to you. And it's not even just like, JK, LOL. Well, that's what I want to say, but I don't think I can offer that now. I have to guard the water temple as a sage of water. And you, you're searching for the Princess Zelda? Ha, huh, you can't hide anything from me. You bastard, you're cheating on me with her, aren't you? Well, fine. Princess Zelda, she's alive. I can sense it. So don't be discouraged. I can tell that nothing will stop you in your quest for justice and peace. You must take care of the medallion. Or whatever, you know what I mean. You must take this medallion. Respect it. Respect my authority. You got a water medallion. You received the water medallion. Rudo awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. Sweet. I'll take it, man. If you see Sheik, please give him my thanks, okay? Will do. I'm probably going to see him real soon, aren't I? When I say real soon, I mean like right now. Hey, I thought I uh, pulled that thing out. As the water rises, the evil is vanishing from the lake. Spoople, you did it. Always ruining cuts. <laughs> oh, that's great. Did Rudo want to thank me? I see. We have to return peace to Hyrule for her sake too, don't we? Look at that, Spoople. Together, you and Princess Rudo destroyed the evil monster. Once again, the lake is filled with pure water. All is as it was here. Lovely! <laughs> I love doing that! It's so great! He needs all the thanks. Hey, little Garrett. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Garrett. You started walking again, so I wanted to shut up. I love ruining cutscenes with the iron boots. It's so entertaining. <laughs> so I guess I, I could get the fire arrows if I wanted to. Aim better, though. We're not gonna get it. That's cool, whatever. I don't need it. What's the next thing that I should do, though? I guess the only thing left right now is to go to Kakarika Village? I still have not saved Epona. I haven't even been to Lon Lon Ranch at all. But this is a three hard run. I don't need to worry about that. I didn't mean to do that. I was hoping I could zoom faster, but that game doesn't want to do that. Zora's domain is still frozen over. I can't exactly take the shortcut, can I? Hello, what? what? What's up, dude? Here's the, uh... I am Bonuru, 
The Scarecrow musical genius. I never talked to you in the first place, even as a child. Fire arrows are great. Yeah, I guess. I, I, I suppose I could get them, but I feel like it makes the game a little bit harder if I don't. Um, I'm trying to figure out... Should I go... Well, because I, I, don't, I don't even have the song to, uh... To warp to the, the castle, do I? Probably have to go there the long way, don't I? Play the Jurassic Park theme on Ocarina? I, I don't know how to play it. I'm not even sure which one it is. It's like... It's like... Yeah, because you can change the pitch of each note if you wanted to. I haven't even been over to Guru's Desert yet. There's a lot of things that are still grayed out, because I'm just doing the bare minimum to get through this game at this point. I don't have a Pona! <laughs> this is taking forever. I'm just trying to go to the castle. Or I could go to Kakariko, but either way I'm gonna have to turn back into a child, so... So I don't have the song to warp to the castle, so I have to actually physically walk there, unfortunately. It summons all the feels. I, I do like the uh, Jurassic Park theme song, I think it's really pretty. Yeah, my brother and I actually made up lyrics to the song. Holy freaking crap, it's a dinosaur. Run away from it, run away. Is your streaming bitrate? Um, I think it's 2500. It's pretty low, but my computer is running a crap ton of stuff right now, so... Why, is it good or bad? Do I need to increase it or lower it? Wait, 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 before I do that, I gotta put the iron boots on. Let's go. Okay, so I can go a little bit further. I don't know why the background was so, like, blackened, but you just need to get closer for the light to show up. Cheek, what's up, man? I love that. You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. But there are still other sages who need your help. In order to awaken all the other sages, you must become even more powerful. You must travel over mountains, underwater. I already did both of those, and even through time, which I have not done, and I'm going to very soon. If you want to return to your original time, return the Master Sword to the pedestal of time. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. Cool, thanks man. I already know that. Buffering is nuts. So the bu so the stream is not doing okay? It seems to be. Because I have the stream open on my iPad to make sure that it's running smoothly. Learning the pre prelude of light here. This is the song I tried to play, but I was like, oh yeah, I'd never learned it. But now I know it. Yeah, what is my, uh, my streaming bitrate? 
Yeah, it says uh, max bit rate is 2500, buffer size, uh, the custom buffer is 2000. But I think I need to keep that low to keep the stream relatively smooth. As long as you hold the Ocarina of Time and the Master Sword, you hold the, the time itself in your hands. Spoople, we shall meet again. Whatever you say. Well now I can go back in time, but I don't even want to do that right now either. I still want to go to Kakariko Village. It's gonna take forever, isn't it? <laughs> That way I can um, learn the other song I need to learn first. And I can just warp to Kakariko. Oh god. Hi Reduds. I don't like you very much. Like at all. For example, do I do I have a fairy? I think I do. Never mind. Is the air gonna clear? There we go. That's better. I need to make sure that I still put the iron boots on for this cutscene as well. I think it's not triggered until I get to that middle section. There we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. There's no no regrets. <laughs> wow, not a speed red, not a bingo, not a po not a Pokemon. I already appreciate the stream. Thank you so much for following, Seguna, and also welcome to the stream. Get back, Spoople. Yeah, I'm doing a three-heart run. This is my first time ever doing a three-heart run, and I'm having a lot of fun. Sheik is uh, being a bit manhandled right there. <laughs> I love the iron boots. They, they just ruin everything. It's great. I also enjoy Link's new kicks. Yep, totally. Did you see a uh, sheik held his hand out? Stop dragging your feet, Link. It's rude. Looks like you're coming around. Spoople, a terrible thing has happened. The evil shadow spirit has been released. Impa, the leader of the Kakariko village has sealed the evil shadow spirit in the bottom of the well. But the force of the evil spirit got so strong, the seal of the well broke, and it escaped into the world. Oh no! Those clanky boots, lol. <laughs> no, I, I love ruining cutscenes with the iron boots, it's great. I believe Impa has gone to the shadow temple to seal it again, but she will be in danger without any help. Spoople. Impa is one of the six sages. Destroy the evil shadow spirit and save Impa. There is an entrance to the shadow temple beneath the graveyard behind this village. The only thing I can do for you is teach you the melody that will lead you to the shadow temple. This is the melody that will draw you into the infinite darkness that absorbs even time. Listen to this, the Nocturne of Shadow. Also an Iron Uncle easy mode run. What? I haven't found the Iron Knuckles, so I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that they can one-hit kill me. Well, I learned that song, so that's great. 
Oh man, I really want a taco now, thanks a lot. <laughs> you, uh, you gonna iron boots on the Shadow Temple boss? Uh, probably not. Uh, I'll, I'll try and get the final strike with iron boots on, but I don't know about fighting the whole battle that way. You have learned the Nocturne of Shadow. That's great. Let me take care of the village. I'm counting on you, Shpoople. Just let, let him escape. Our knuckle attacks take away exactly three hearts. Great! So, uh, yeah. That's lovely. So, in order to do anything in the Shadow Temple, I first have to do the bottom of the well. I haven't even done that part yet, since I don't have the Lens of Truth. So... Wait. Da, 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 da. There we go. I have to figure out the song. Saving to be safe. Yep. Always a good idea. So I got myself some uh, animal crackers as a snack. They don't have any frosting on them, so they're not as good, but at least it's something I can snack on while I'm here. So I imagine if I put the uh, the iron boots on when I grab the sword. Let me try it, just to see what happens. So I wonder if I, if I go back to uh, being a normal human again, or go back to being adult Link, if I'm still going to have the iron boots on when I come back to adult form. Were there uh, parts of the song that were missing? It seemed like there was supposed to be a lot more other instruments or something. It was weird. But anyway, I am a kid again! Yay! I think I just need to go over to Kakarika Village at this point. I haven't done crap. I still have the letter. I haven't done anything with the masks. Masks. That's a weird word to say. Oh, it's nighttime, sweet. Look at all the dogs! They're so cute. Yeah, because a Don't Link couldn't move on his own with those boots anyway. How long have you been streaming? Do you mean like this specific stream or how, how long have you been streaming like since I started overall? Because uh, this specific stream is two hours and 14 minutes, which I- oh crap, I can't go! But I can warp there, can't I? Wait, how did it go? Crap, I forgot the song. And then I actually first started, like, actually streaming on Twitch in December, in which I barely got any any view viewers back then. It's still kind of the same now, but to be fair, I don't stream very often either, so... Oh wait, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to learn the song. What is it? I just learned it. Ba 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 da ba da ba. Okay. There we go. I've only died seven times, so that's good too. Warping to the graveyard. You had me, haha. -ha. Yes, Perry Chrissy, you've been very loyal, and I always appreciate you uh, being here. So this is the entrance to the Shadow Temple, but I can't really go in there. And I'm not going to try as a child either, because I can't get anywhere. Oh, I almost fell in there. That would have been interesting. Wait, so I think there's also fairies in here, isn't there? Do I already have a fairy though? I do. I don't need to bother. It's fine. You're welcome. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. So, okay, so right now I think the well has water in it still. 
Yep, that is a well. Wells have water, don't they? I'm not sure how to do the uh, the glitch or whatever, so I'm not gonna try. I'm just gonna do the thing like normal. How the game intends you to do it, because I'm not a speedrunner. I don't know really any glitches of how to get through stuff, so forgive me for doing things the wrong way. Go around, go around, and around, and around. What fun! I am so happy. I'm a music man who loves to go around and around, go around and around. I'm a trying to come up with a musical theme inspired by this windmill, going around and around. You know that song you taught me like seven years in the future that you get really mad at me for doing now? Well, here it goes. I, le I at least learned this song while I could. I can't wait to see Mr. Handyman in the well. Oh, is that the guy that's like always super creepy? I think I know who you're talking about. I don't want to deal with that guy. I don't know who reacted so negatively to it. I don't know if it was um, Dan from the Game Grumps or if it was Lucagen, but one of them was really disturbed by it. I like watching legit runs without skippy glitches. It's better that way. Sometimes I like watching speedruns because I like to watch a kind of godly kind of stuff happening. I'm just like, whoa, that's insane. I could never do that. I feel like if I try speedrunning, it's gonna ruin the game for me. Go around, then around. What? It's going way too fast. You're gonna be super pissed at me in the future for doing it now. Yeah, the thing with, with uh, speedruns is that you'll get through the game a lot faster. Because I like uh, watching challenge runs of games that I love, and also blind runs of games that I love. Mm -hmm.